Every person is different. When working for people, it can be very hard to imagine what their needs are. Doesn't it make sense that we can better meet the needs of the people we're working for if we put ourselves in their shoes? All too often, the things that we do are disconnected from people's reality because we have never experienced things from their perspective. By visiting the people you're hoping to affect with your work, you will be able to learn from them and understand more deeply what their experience is like. You can also use this approach to get a feel for whole services, not just individuals. This will help you to base your thinking on real life experiences. You will be able to see things realistically and develop ideas that are closely connected to the people you're working for. You will find out about the people involved, what they do, how they behave, the space they do it in, the information they see and hear, and everything around them that affects the environment. An experience tour is a helpful structure that helps you to collect and reflect on insights from these first-hand experiences to start developing your ideas. Raj and Babita work for a big NGO in northern India. Their task is to promote rural development through sustainable tourism and promoting local craftsmakers. They have access to statistics about both tourism and rural economy, but seem very detached from the situation. Both Raj and Babita come from big cities. They don't know many people from rural areas, let alone rural craftsmakers. How can they understand what people need? They decide to spend a week with locals at a market in a village up north. Babita suggests they use the experience tour worksheet to prompt them and help them record their experience there. They think about what they want to find out about the craft makers and their environment. How do people work? What do they do when no one is looking? Who do people work with or for? And who are their customers? What can they read, see or hear? What could they benefit from? What kind of products are used at the market? Are there any interesting tools people use? What was it like at the market for Raj and Bobita? How did the craftsmakers describe it? What did the craftsmakers like about their work? What are the most effective practices in Babita and Raj's views? Is there anything that makes the craft makers' lives harder? What do people complain about? The team takes notes of important insights they have observed. Babita and Raj now know that rural craftsmakers are hard-working creative people who take much pride in their work. They found out that many of them would benefit from advice on marketing and branding, but never had information or time to find out about opportunities to do this. They helped the NGO to organize a workshop that brings rural craftsmakers from several villages in the area, together with marketing specialists, to develop a more effective way of working at markets and attracting tourists. The experience tour helps you to capture important details from other people's point of view, pinpoint what works and what doesn't, and make sense of unfamiliar situations.